<laughs> it always surprises us. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're live. Welcome. Here we are. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, so it is nice to be here with you all today. I am Janet Raftis, Quantum Creatrix, Divine Feminine Channel. I am here with. I am Ina Lucas. Um, I am a shamanic channel and uh, and um, and healer and uh, a channel collective called The Alchemists. And I love playing in the realm of multi-dimensional <laughs> <laughs> journeys and exploration with beloved Janet here. Yes. Yay. Um, I am just um, taking a moment here to share this mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. my personal page. Yes. <laughs> so um, we are super excited to talk to you all about the spring equinox, um, something that Ina and I both love very much. Um, we really love the entire turning of the wheel of the year, but we really love this one. I mean, I don't want to say more, but we have <laughs> reasons for really loving this one. And they have to do with the fact that the spring equinox is a time of like real powerful alchemy. It's mm -hmm. a time to take like all of that stuff that we've been working with. You know, when we go through winter, we're passing through like mythologically, archetypally, um, we're going into the underworld. We're going into mm -hmm. the depths of our being. We often do a lot of shadow work, a lot of healing during that time. We have a lot more time for awareness because we pull in more and we hibernate a little more. And a lot of awareness can be created during that winter period. And then we pull up into spring and it's like this boom of life, right? Like everything is just starting to come into form. It's finding its way up through the soil, like mm -hmm. literally Gaia, Mama Earth, Mama Gaia is just like whoosh, pushing her shoots out, right? <laughs> and we do the same thing. I mean, maybe not the exact same way. <laughs> 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 like uh, shoots came out <laughs> but it is like a really creative fertile time right mm -hmm. it's a time when we take all that has been broken down in that underworld processing journey we take all of that stuff that's been broken down like that has been fertilizing the soil Right. Mm -hmm. It's been fertilizing mm -hmm. the soil. And, and, and now the soil is super rich and it's super vibrant and it is just ready to push its shoots out. And, and we are too. This is a time of rebirth. The spring mm -hmm. equinox is a time that marks that balance of dark and light, right? When it's exactly equal, when the dark is influencing the light and the light is influencing the dark. And there's this really beautiful interplay of energies that provides a portal of alchemization, which is really amazing. And then on top of that, with the spring equinox, we're kicking off the ast astrological new year with Aries, mm -hmm. Aries beginning. And, um, and it, in, in and of itself is an, an initiatory, right? Like this, yeah. the equinoxes and the solstices all initiate new seasons. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of beginning energy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's unstoppable. You cannot <laughs> stop the birds. You cannot stop the bees. You cannot stop the, you know, the sprouts from shooting. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I just... It's what I love about spring is, you know, especially in in northern climates where where there's really the dormancy of winter and when mm -hmm. there is that die off and that hibernation energy that in the spring you can literally walk on the earth and feel the mm -hmm. aliveness of everything that's just underneath the surface that's so <laughs> ready to come up and out and it's like you can't help but feel the energy of that and mm -hmm. and all of these external uh you know forces are are impacting our 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 internal uh pressure to evolve you know pressure yeah. to grow out of the void out of the darkness mm -hmm. and you know and in that 
uh, in that balance of darkness and light, like the darkness is our subconscious. It's the mm -hmm. unconscious and the light is our, is our conscious mind. And so it is such an incredible time to really work. Like Janet was saying in that, in the alchemy of, of what's been in our subconscious, what's been in our unconscious, what, uh, what is it in these last few days of winter? The equinox is on uh, is on Saturday, so this is a really potent time to to look at what what is it that you're really like complete with. What what are the cycles that you are complete with as you're starting to begin a whole new cycle of rebirth and growth and 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 what of of this past year and this past winter and I almost kind of consider all of 2020 winter <laughs> you know like it was it was the like going inward and and you know the breakdown and and uh, um, you know like like we're coming out of a very long winter so this spring equinox is is so potent it's so juicy and and so you know this is just a ripe time to to really do deeper deeper medicine work yeah with yourself you know like deeper ritual with yourself to uh to um to see what remaining pieces of winter do get to be become the fertilizer of mm -hmm. of what you're giving birth to yeah, exactly. And there really is, you know, mythologically, we, uh, if you're familiar with the story of Persephone, right, Persephone is both the queen of the underworld, and a goddess of spring. And that really sums up the energy portal that we're in right now, right? Like mm -hmm. this, right as we are on the cusp, as Ina was saying, of like wrapping up winter, it's like this emergence from the underworld. And that is a transition. You know, when you look at, at, at the energy of the goddess and the wheel of the year and all on all of this, you know, the, the cycle was always life, death, rebirth, life, death, mm -hmm. rebirth. And we've gotten away from that in the mm -hmm. patriarchal structure of our society, but it's something that is intrinsic and innate to the goddess energy. And, mm -hmm. and to those of us who identify as feminine, it's something that is within us. It is a process that is natural to us to work mm -hmm. in these energies. And this time, this portal, this particular portal that we're in, that is winter to spring, is that portal of like mm -hmm. the, the part that is the death to rebirth part of it, right? Mm -hmm. The death to rebirth. That, and that rebirth is to the life, right? Mm -hmm. And that death being such a necessary part of this process and we forget that we tend to hate winter we tend to hate shadow work we tend to hate the dying process like we, yeah, yeah. You know, fear of death is alive in the collective right now like yeah. nobody's business complete mm -hmm. fear of death mm -hmm. whereas like it there is no life without death like the cycles right. are in us it, there is everywhere we look it cycles mm -hmm. it is it is the earthly experience we yeah. must cycle yeah we must cycle we must die and be reborn in order yeah. to be human <laughs> Or there yeah. is no, there is no <laughs> earthly existence. <laughs> so yeah. we might as well embrace <laughs> this process of rebirth. Yeah. It happens in us every day, death and mm -hmm. rebirth. Mm -hmm. But at these juicy portals, this is when, you know, all the energy, you know, the universal forces are on our sides. And, and it's, it's such a huge portal that you have to remember that for millennia, civilizations all over the world have have constructed, uh, you know, uh, temples, structures, sacred sites that are based on the exact astronomy of the equinoxes and the equinoxes being even more powerful than the solstices. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Machu Picchu, Chichen Itza, I mean, there's so many uh, pyramids in Egypt that are that are exactly aligned to to capture the the, the moment of balance and uh, of balance of of dark and light. And and so it it's it's this it's a point where the veil between worlds is very thin. Mm hmm. It's, it's a point in that shifting of the seasons where we can really go into, into deep healing space. And it is the space that creates new worlds. Yeah. It really yeah. is. 
And it's why it's so critical that we gather, that we come together, that we celebrate these portals and that we we use these, uh, you know, these juicy, I mean, it's a, it's a birth canal. You know? It's, yeah, like, it's, it's vaginal, you know, <laughs> like this is the spring vulva. <laughs> Like birds, bees, bees. (laughs) (laughs) it's the cervix of the universe. (laughs) (laughs) The same, yeah. Mercury is in Pisces right now, and um, in yes, and that is a beautiful space too with this because all of our communications in this real like juicy energy, right? Like real juicy portal, and this is a time of like poets and song and like creative expression Mm -hmm. right and that is the energy here like the energy of of the spring equinox is that birth canal but it's birthing into that creative potential it's birthing into that inspiration that i that 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 allowance of the flow of ideas right Mm -hmm. and 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 (laughs) really being in the energy of the friskiness of it Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. like into that space of like how can we have like how can we show up and have fun even as we are transitioning here and and that transition can be a little uncomfortable right I mean the birth canal is not the most comfortable place to hang out (laughs) but it's a movement through right and on the other side is like this it really is like we were kind of alluding to before. It's like an eruption of life, life mm-hmm. force energy, life force mm-hmm. energy, as Ina said earlier, mm-hmm. is rushing through you right now. It is urging through you and your greater potential is pushing itself, mm-hmm. <laughs> pushing mm-hmm. itself out of you, yearning for that expression, right? Which is really, mm-hmm. really similar to that Mercury and Pisces energy as well. It's like there's mm-hmm. this expression within you that is yearning mm-hmm. to, to, to be born, to be birthed. So. I love that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Woo, bring it. <laughs> so now is an incredible time to be to be stepping into ritual and to, you know, create your 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 spring altar to start to connect into what what your spring intentions are, what this next chapter of 2021 is where we're all being born anew in this in this <laughs> uprising you know so who is it that you really are in 2021 what is it that you're really giving birth to in the world mm-hmm. and you know connecting into your intentions creating altars being out in nature and you know collecting uh mm-hmm. you know uh, uh asking and collecting uh mm-hmm. mother nature to bring into your altar and um and even literally working the soil and planting mm-hmm. seeds and and putting intention into the seeds too right so if you know for example there's a project you want to birth or a book you want to write or a song you want to you know compose like you know, it is a beautiful ritual to work with the energy of life itself, right? Mm -hmm. Planting those seeds, cultivating those seeds, like the ritual of bringing that into life and and on the equinox, actually doing something where you are out in the earth or bringing the earth indoors too, if if that Mm -hmm. is more accommodating for you, if that works more for you, in a pot with a plant, Mm -hmm. right? And, And allowing yourself to till the soil and to connect with the energy of that seed with that intention and allowing your love and and your that life force energy to come Mm. through you and out of your hands and into that soil it's really powerful that's a powerful spiritual practice Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. huge (laughs) huge (laughs) <laughs> ritual is what <laughs> ritual is the container through which the sacred flows you know like that's what the alchemists yeah. say is that that's really it's ritual that allows us to connect so deeply to the sacred so the more ritual and conscious intention that you can bring to this equinox portal the the more magic you can create because this is the time of abundance. This is the total time of abundance and prosperity of all things. You know, you're, you're setting the seeds for the entire season. You know, yeah. what is it that you want to be harvesting in the fall? You know, set the seeds for that now, like really get clear on, on what is it, you know, what's your legacy? What are you creating? What is it that uh, if you plant the seeds for it now, you can actually step into 
yeah. into concrete manifestational action to 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 bring to bring that vision to life you know who do you want to be what do you want to achieve by the end of 2021 and what are what is it that you get to plant now in order to allow that to happen or five years from now ten years from now what is what's your legacy you know what are you what are you stepping into here yeah, absolutely. And and so, you know, we, you know, and I, we just love <laughs> to play in energy like this and well, in any energy, really, but <laughs> just about any energy. <laughs> <not all> of <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so we really love to play in energy like this. And so we are doing, um, we are facilitating a spring equinox Ostara, who is a spring goddess. So connecting with any of the spring goddesses, maiden goddesses is a great way to, to, to work with spirit in this time of year as well. And um, Ostara is very much connected to the spring equinox, connected mm -hmm. to um, spring in general and to uh, Easter, or the evolution mm -hmm. of Easter. And so um, we are doing a, uh, we are facilitating an activation and uh, a workshop, which can be two separate things or one <laughs> unified thing <laughs> depending on what your desires are um, and it is to really allow you to come into a super juiced up highly activated highly potent fertilized field of potential because when we come together we create that we mm -hmm. create a container that is that allows for deep and cathartic alchemization and transformation transmutation and transformation of energy. And so mm -hmm. we are inviting you to bring what you desire to birth into this container so that we can work with spirit and your guides and you and a group of amazing people to alchemize and, 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 and explode into life <laughs> that which you are desirous of, of creating. And this is something that is a lot of fun for us, something that is super powerful and something that is a, a, a wonderful way to work with the energies that are available for you and to amplify. I mean, you can you can do a lot of work on your own and it will be powerful. Um, I have no doubt. And if you <laughs> have the desire, though, to like really juice it up and really amplify it, we have we are creating a container for you. We yeah, have a it's, <laughs> it's basically spiritual miracle girl. Where yeah. it's like, <laughs> what is it that you want? <laughs> it's like fertilizer on steroids. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's amazing what happens in these activations and the level of healing, the level of catharsis, the level of ahas, the level of, um, you know, the veil is so thin. So messages from your ancestors, from your lineage, from your guides, it just, it's, it's such a, potent, 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 juicy field that allows you to access so much more because it's, mm -hmm. you know, when you get a hundred people or more together in that field, it's just, it's, it's, it's not <laughs> one plus one makes two. It's, it's times thousands, yeah. you know, that the energy gets amplified. So, yeah. yes. Super powerful and super fun. The activation itself is only $37, so super accessible as well. Um, and then we do have an additional three-hour workshop if you want to do all four hours together, um, where in, in the weird workshop we go deep into, deep into, um, oh my God, into <laughs> archetypes, mythology, shadow, deep healing, deep cathartic work to clear, 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 clear. It's like a, it's like a beautiful energetic spring cleaning that goes deep and wide. And that really goes into the soil, so to speak, that mm -hmm. is going to become that activating field for the activation, which comes at the end of it. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple things to choose from. And just depending on, you know, what you feel called to either one, both are going to M magically, <laughs> miraculously amplify what you are desirous of creating. Yeah. It's, it's like a massive healing session. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's amazing that, you know, the, the testimonials that we get from people of what mm -hmm. happens in these sessions, it's, 
yeah. it's just it's it's humbling it's profound because it's it's an activated potent juicy vessel container for you you know yeah. to just dive deep into yourself yeah and be supported and loved and uh, <laughs> with so much playfulness up. yeah we're gonna love you up <laughs> we're just gonna love you up <laughs> so we will put the information for that in the comments here um we would love for you to join um and bring your special flavor of magic to the container that is being created um and um and we're just really grateful for all of you thank you so much for tuning in and being here with us if you're watching this later and you have any comments that you want to share anything you want to drop in please do yes. um State yeah. your intentions. What are you intending? Oh, what are you yeah. start putting it into the comments? Put it in the matrix. <laughs> What's springing forth in you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. good. So, right. thank you all so much. Happy uh, Equinox, everyone. <laughs> we hope to play with you Saturday. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>